always dreamed about being a doctor, but uh, didn't get much school. I can't stay here while all them go fight for me. Don't you figure this war is just going to fit in with your ideas? While everybody else is taking life, I'm going to be saving it. And that's going to be my way to serve. Now, your character sees Desmond all along and sees what he's, you know, his worth. What was it that she saw in him? I mean, I think initially he's just so endearing. Um, he's very earnest in the way he tries to pick her up with that very sweet pickup line. Um, and then what she loves about him is he just authentically is who he is. And that's so special because I think during a courtship and when men want to, you know, woo a lady, they're always the best versions of themselves, mm. but yet he is just, this is who I am, and these are the things I believe in, and come on this journey with me, and she instantly falls in love. Now, do you think that personally, like, kind of um, affected you seeing that conviction, and maybe hearing from the real Desmond, you probably saw videos of him and stuff like that, did that personally kind of touch you? Yeah, I His think, faith and I, I, um, I love the fact that there is this beautiful relationship with Faith in this film. It feels more like a love story mm. to me than a war story because it is his love for his Faith, his love for his brothers and his wife, uh, and there's something so profound about that. And also in today's climate, I really think that we need a story about a man who stands by everything mm -hmm. he believes in, despite the adversity he mm -hmm. faces or what, a, what anyone else thinks about him. He mm -hmm. just really stands true to his beliefs and that's really important. Now, I was reading that you're, you kind of pulled from your grandmother and grandfather's story. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, my nana uh, did Morse code in World War II, yeah. and my pop, he was a firefighter. And they're both no longer with us, but I remember listening to stories about them and their connection and that dynamic and, and just that time, what that was like. Um, and it was, it was a really challenging time for, for those mm -hmm. um, those women and men and uh, so I connected to that and I drew inspiration from that. Also my nana is very confident and sassy and she wore the pants in the relationship and I thought that their dynamic was very similar to Dorothy and Desmond's dynamic. That's so sweet that you got to, you know, play that time period. Yeah, I love Kind of honor their story too yeah, in a way. Absolutely. How cool was it to work with Mel? It was fantastic. I'm a huge fan of his, obviously, being an Aussie, growing up watching all his films. Yeah. Um, so I just loved it. He's got this jovial, beautiful, infectious spirit. He's an actor, so he knows how to meet your needs as a mm -hmm. performer and create the space for you to try different things and... Um, you know, discover the character for yourself. And then he also had a, uh, it was a collaborative effort. He definitely had a say in how she looked and, you know, what a woman of great faith would wear. And, um, you know, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, but she has her wig and she likes to still look very nice, but <laughs> she doesn't put um, too much emphasis on the physical beauty, which was really sweet.